I have dealt with monitoring spirits all my life. My entire life, I've dealt with monitoring spirits. And what I've come to conclusion in that my experience with monitoring spirits came from family and loved ones, those who I felt was supposed to love me, who was supposed to support me, those who were supposed to be there to encourage me along the way. What I have um, come to understanding with is these are the things that built my character. These are the things that actually built my integrity. Now, in the beginning, these things were very hurtful because I felt I should be more supported. You know, um, I was born into a family of multi-talents. So God did not just bless us with one talent. He gave a lot of us multiple talents and I find that to be a huge blessing. So I was one who would want to try everything, but to, you know, family, it looked as if I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with my life, but I was one who wanted to do different things. I didn't just want to be a one trick pony. With all the things that I went to achieve in life, I did not have support from my family. I still do not have support for my family. When I post my work, when I post things that I'm doing now, um, even things that they can come and support me right now with, they do not. They don't support me on social media. They do not share any of my, my uh, services that I provide. They do not come and see me doing any of this. Like they don't, they don't, they just don't. So what the enemy then did, right, growing up was implant the spirit of abandonment, um, non-support. These things in turn could have turned me to be really angry and bitter. But what I've come to the conclusion with is God needed me to experience these things from the people that I love so the people in the world wouldn't phase me. These things were supposed to create unforgiveness in my heart. And by far, I was very close to experiencing unforgiveness. Because I am somebody who mean what I say, say what I mean. And when I say I ain't messing with you, I'm not messing with you. You will have people that are in secret competition with you. You will have people that are challenging you in so many different ways. They don't want to support you. They do not want you to, to move further past them. It's just a lot of different things that I've experienced from my own family. In turn, my support has come from people who I do not know. My support comes from people who actually see the value in what I can bring to either any projects that we do or any organizations that I'm a part of. He has blessed me to be able to overcome these things. The purpose of me even coming to you guys and telling you about this is I want you all to understand that when I come to you and we talk about these things, I want you to know that God deals with me about these situations first. And then I share them with you so that I could provide you examples on why we need to get past hurts, traumas, unforgiveness, you know, things of that nature. It's important that we get past those things so God can truly bless you. We have to change our heart posture. Because my family didn't support me, because I didn't have other people that were there to encourage me, I looked for that from God. I wanted to please God. I wanted God to um, direct me, to guide me. So he is who I go to for all things at this point. Tonight, I was in the shower and I'm going on this journey. I do permanent makeup now. I ask God to bless me to be able to overcome all obstacles. There are monitoring spirits that still come in and out of my life to see where I am, what I'm doing, and they still don't support me. So now they have to see what I'm doing on social media. They don't have access to me. God is good. He will let your enemies become your footstool, okay? As I began to get serious in this journey, really seeking God, listening for his voice, asking for his direction, 
doing permanent makeup is fairly something new. This is absolutely nothing anyone in my family has done before. So doing something like this can definitely be non-traditional, you know, for my family. But as I mentioned, no matter what I post, there's just no, no real support, you know. So I believe going through this particular journey, it's like God had me to just unpack everything that I was holding in my heart when it comes to the abandonment issues, when it comes to people not believing in you, not supporting you, when it comes to unforgiveness, things that people have said, you know, things that may have lingered in my mind, my heart and mind. He had me to unpack all those things. So I had to get rid of all those different things and feelings. As I I came to, you know, closing out that portion of this journey, healing myself and then seeking God's guidance, God's approval. You know, I noticed that he began to put people in my life that are supposed to be a part of my journey. He also allowed me to be a part of other people's journey. So I believe the way that I would like to receive love support and you know help i provide that to other people i amplify other people i remind them who they are the greatness in them what they you know what gifts they possess sometimes a lot of people don't even know this about themselves so sometimes some people need that encouragement and that's me i'm here to offer that i love supporting people who deserve it sincere hearts beautiful hearts and minds i'm the one that's gonna say hey you know it may be hard today you might not feel well today it might seem like you don't know what the outcome is going to be but you got this i would like to let them know their strengths you know if there's someone who is beautiful i'm gonna let them know they're beautiful sometimes we don't know that we see ourselves every day so we don't know what other people see when they see us so I believe, you guys, the purpose of me having this particular video is God put me in position to receive all those negative things to where those monitoring spirits became my adversary to push me, to back me up into a corner to the point where I had to seek God. I had to get in a place to where I began to pray, that I began to look for him to ask to ask him to lead and guide me because it got crazy it got to the point where i didn't understand what i was here for how am i born into a whole family that just does not support me that does not give me that that push that i need that i see that so uh, so many other people have but when it comes to the way that god works god has pushed me in a place to where there is nothing but faith I walk by faith, not by sight. And I make sure that I offer that information, that intel to those who I value. So what God has done is God has created a community of people who I have come across in my adulthood that I can bless, that I can encourage, and that I can show that there is so much more to them. I'm going to be their helpmate. I'm going to be there to help them serve. And I'm going to do that through God. Listen, those monitoring spirits may think they're doing something. But at the end of the day, when you walk in, in alignment with God, he will use those same enemies to become your adversaries, to push you into your destiny when they think they stopping something. They're not stopping nothing. All they're doing is pushing you into your greatness. All they're doing is molding and shaping you into that to that beautiful person, to building up that character. Come on now. Let me tell you, we going to support each other. Tell me if you guys have a business, if you guys have ideas, if you need help with anything, let me know in the chat. We will definitely share and support each other. I want you guys to share this video. If it, if it helps you, it will help somebody else. And if y'all think I am worthy for the share, share this share this y'all like follow me let's grow let's grow this community that's what we gonna do nobody else believed in me 
but I know y'all do because I see how many views my videos get. I see how many likes my videos get. And what I want to say is, it's not for me. It's for God. We are going to share his word. We are going to grow because we are in a place now where it's nobody that's really supporting people. People are, people are really envious and they hate on people for some odd reason, but we ain't doing that. We're going to do the opposite. Let's go.